Hey everybody, so um, today, actually tonight, it's about 11 p.m., I am doing another review on the Saddleback Leather Small Satchel, um, and this is in the color Tobacco, and um, the reason it's so late, normally I have natural light coming in, but today I turned, the, turned on the studio lights. This bag is borrowed. I'm borrowing it from Deborah. Hi, Deborah. And we're hanging out tomorrow, and I have, maybe you've noticed, been posting a video like once a week, and I just needed to get a cer uh, them done in a certain order, and I was like, if I'm going to meet with her, I want to be able to return the bags that I've been borrowing from her. And the last one that I needed to review from hers was this guy. So, um, why don't we just, I don't know what kind of video this will be. I feel like it's a little more chill. I feel like I just want to give you a quick overview. Um, the funny thing about this bag is that it is discontinued. And um, so if you were wanting to buy this one for yourself, you would need to check out the used market. Um, and I can leave a link on eBay excuse me, I will leave a link below to the Facebook group. Um, I believe if you search the words Saddleback Leather and other buy sell group, it's going to come up. We have like 7,000 members right now. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's a really great community of people. Um, Mike Allen put it together. Hi Mike. And we all just share ideas and swap bags and buy sell trade. It's a good time. That's where you're going to find one of these or good old eBay which we like to call fee bay because of all the added fees so you kind of see this to scale I always think bags just look bigger when you're closer to the camera so here it is it's pretty small but um I've had see the experience I had with this wasn't like week after week I really tried it out a couple days and then I kind of moved on um, and uh, I don't know, you kind of can maybe tell I'm not the biggest fan of it. And I love Saddleback Leather. I love the tobacco color. Um, this is the peanut butter tobacco. So this is uh, the new logo. That's one indicator that you're going to have more of a... No, that's not even the case. Saddleback Leather has been changing their tobacco on us for several years back to back. But they have promised us that the newest stock of tobacco on their website will be this color tobacco. <laughs> People at home are like, that looks the same. But it's more, this is more neutral, this is more yellow. This is the popular one, this is the unpopular one. Um, one's more velvety, one isn't. That's a big difference right there. This is the large hobo. I'm going to give you guys an updated wear and tear on this in the coming weeks. I just keep posting so many videos and it's fun, but like in my downtime, I'm like planning for these videos because um, I have a job as well. So uh, what was I saying? So new logo, peanut butter tobacco, but it's discontinued. It's not sold at Saddleback anymore. Um, and I'm just, do you remember the video maybe a month or two ago where I compared it to the Indiana Satchel in Walnut and I compared it to the Medium Satchel. So you almost see the Medium Satchel has a lot more love. Stuff is still like in the pockets, the visor, this thing gets more love. And that's why between these two I love this one more, Medium Satchel, than the small. But your needs at home, your needs at work are going to be different than mine. So let's jump into the specs on this guy. I even had the notes from the old video to help me. So this small satchel is a nine and a half by 10 by four inches deep. It is 3.4 pounds, empty. <laughs> and the measurements are really like seam to seam. So you're gonna have to almost go in about a half an inch just on like what you can fit in here. Did I grab my iPad mini? I didn't, it's in the other room, okay. I wanted to show the size comparison between these two as well because they are crazy similar. See the patina, how shiny it is. Um, this, uh, the large hobo is four and a half deep, 
small satchel four inches deep. The height of the hobo is 12 inches. Excuse me, the height of the hobo is 10 inches. The height of the small satchel is 10 inches. The width of a large hobo is 12 inches and the width of the satchel is, what did I say? 10 inches wide. It really is 10 inches high, 10 inches wide, just a little square. Some exterior pockets. There's my cell phone, it fits comfortably. Samsung, Samsung S, Galaxy S7 fits in there. That's how much is peeking out. You're gonna see on the base of this one, it has D-rings. That is to maybe strap an item to, a blanket, a water bottle, something to the bottom of the bag. It has the O-ring, and this is um, so that you can convert it into a backpack. And conveniently, on the, on the medium satchel, I have it in backpack mode because when on my trip recently, I was wearing it um, as a backpack for longer amounts of time. So if you want to screenshot this, that's how you should do the knot. Um, I don't feel like doing a step-by-step. -step. I guess I can. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could do a step-by-step -step in this review, which is coming up. But I own this bag, so I don't need to give it back to Deborah. But this is the ideal way to wear the knot, and then it just goes on one one shoulder, one shoulder. And there are two sh shoulder straps on the medium satchel, and only one shoulder strap to the small. Here's the strap to the small. It's a good depth to the strap. I feel like I'm just comparison all these bags. Like, okay, here's two. This is the large hobo strap. This is the small satchel strap. So a very clear difference there. The small satchel only comes with one shoulder pad. So when you're wearing it in backpack mode, you'll have one shoulder strap here, and this one won't, but you can purchase shoulder straps for eight to $10 by calling customer service at Saddleback Leather. Um, so that's a nice tip. Keep going over the overview. This is a nice full pocket. I didn't stretch it out because this was a new bag to Deborah, and uh, I didn't want to break that part in for her. But it could easily fit your phone or paperwork. And I'm gonna unload this. And you guys, I've been posting so many videos, it seems like I just keep shoving the same stuff in these bags. Because I'm just carrying the same stuff right now. But you never know. You never know if somebody watching this video hasn't watched any of the rest. And that's why you keep doing this. So here it is full. Maybe a little more room on top for sunglasses or winter gloves. Pop it up on my knee. And the large trifold wallet fits perfectly with room to spare standing up. Saddleback leather, tobacco, full review on the channel. Um, next thing, <laughs> whipping post pouch. I keep using those. Uh, this is the Love 41 clutch right here. I have a full review on this guy. You, know, you can see my information. But I can open this side. <laughs> Actually, I guess the, the key, my key fob fits right in here. So I technically just could walk in a store only with this, which is really nice. Um, and a personal size file effects. Back here. I lost my fidget spinner. I don't know where it went. So that's not in this bag. Uh, lip gloss. And business cards. Let's see, little business cards. Um, so if you're looking inside the bag, you're going to see some cool options. This is the pigskin, and it's the suede one. Um, some bags you'll see for sale are going to be in a more slick pigskin and it's easier to wipe out. The suede feels better. I like the, just the texture overall of the suede one, but I'm really not too picky about that lining. A floppy pocket. They graciously gave us a key fob. And can you see these pockets? They're pretty tight, like really tight, but perfect for pens. Um, maybe a knife 
or um, lip gloss. <laughs> and uh, you're gonna see, this is actually a metal rod going, not rod, but like piece of metal going over here. So when you, this part of the bag will never sag when you're picking it up over time. This really bag, this bag is not broken in at all. I love that noise though. Um, and then this is a buckle closure and this is how much adjust adjustability you have. I really like buckle closures. <clears throat> um, depending on the day, the amount of stuff I carry is so different sometimes. Um, today I was using a different bag that has not been revealed on my channel, but I'm more mentioning it because today I was carrying, you know, my day planner, my pouch, my wallet, but then I was carrying my camera, a tape measure, and just extra stuff. You never know. Um, what did I want to show you? Oh yeah. So I like buckle closures over clasp closures. Um, I'm very comfortable opening my bag with this, but my preference is the buckle, which is probably why I really like the book bag. Should I go grab the book bag? Hmm. I will when I reset this camera. What was that noise? Oh, my cell phone. See guys, it's just kind of, I'm tired. It's the end of the day, but I did want to show you more about this bag. Um, it's been requested, so I'm going to do it. If you ever want to see a video, just request it. This is an A5 file effects, but this is not, I have my black one, I have this one, and I have my personal one. But this is the A5 size, and I thought I'd show if this can fit in the bag. And it can, very comfortably. So that's good, if any file effects girls out there, or men, that fits just fine. I don't know, is that it? Um, I don't know. See, what, what adds to the weight of the saddleback, what do I keep saying? What adds the weight to the small satchel is these D-rings. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just for utility. Not including this backpack one. So, nine. And, um, these right here are for the crossbody. So that just adds some weight. I mean, you'll see in my review, this one was this Indiana, um, Indiana satchel was even lighter than this one. So I feel like this is uh, the way Saddleback wants to go. No rings. Can't convert it into a backpack. Um, and this might just be like what we're going to... If you want a version of this bag, this is on the website. This you're not going to have to hunt on the used market. But, oops. Um, see, I'm kind of running out of material, aren't I? Why don't I go grab the book bag and we'll compare it in size. And that might just be it for today. Um, I'll give you a preview. I keep bumping the camera, sorry. But the medium satchel, I'll have, I think, more warm things to say just because I like it. I use it more. Um, this is just old. I got it used. It's super broken in. Do you see this? <laughs> I just think that's so funny. Um, a great patina on the back. You can see the shine. Um, and if I were to start Saddleback all over, I would have started here. This one's a really great bag. They don't have this color anymore. This is walnut. It was limited edition. But they um, sell in tobacco, carbon, dark coffee brown, and chestnut. Not carbon. They sell it in black, not carbon, sorry. Uh, okay. I'll be back with the iPad mini. Hold on. iPad mini and book bag. Okay, I'm back. And um, I, as I was walking around my house, because uh, it's so late at night, I was thinking, wait, I, I showed you how smushy the medium satchel is after probably two or three years of daily use. You cannot <laughs> bend <laughs> the small satchel at all. So I'm a huge fan of how these bags break in and a lot of people complain, oh, it's too stiff. How do I break it in? How do I break it in? You just use it. You use it daily or you buy used. And um, my large hobo, I've used more than other bags. So this one's pretty squishy, but it's a more structured bag too. This one, I'm its only owner and um, 
it's one of my favorite favorite it's just not gonna leave my collection but it's it has like my wear and tear on it which is kind of nice some people are like that they want to be the one to show the patina and wear and scratches and everything okay I came back to show you uh, the iPad mini fitting in the small satchel I don't know if that was important to anyone and super easy lots of room for clearance and then um, I wanted to compare the size to the book bag I'm just buckling it up so here's the book bag they're all looking the same aren't they here's a ruler and I'm going to measure this really quick so this is nine by mm, about seven and a half by two and then this was ten by ten. Nine by seven and a half wait nine by seven and a half ten by ten so here's some side by sides I mean guys when I was just discovering Saddleback leather I was watching every video there weren't many just the ones by Saddleback I was freeze framing the video to really like understand the sizes of things I was watching the same video over and over anybody that posted any picture of them wearing it out in the city like the large hobo I would just save it on a file on my computer so I could come back to it um, there's a big height difference there uh, and I don't know what people think of me on the internet but I'm actually not impulsive I I do own a lot of bags but I think about the purchase for a long 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 time and I like screenshotting images and coming back to them and just thinking about it and raising funds and finding a way to be creative uh, so that I can own a bag and so that's kind of why I also like to show the comparisons because I don't know if people at home do pause it and they're like oh okay see this is the difference in size but the book bag, and I have a full review on this, I've had, my stomach kind of hurts, guys, it's just, just a hot mess tonight. It's okay. I, I can be transparent with you that I'm not feeling well, but I've had the book bag for about two years. Two years? Maybe a year and a half? And this one, the medium satchel and the medium backpack are on almost every single trip I go on. Um, and normally when I come home from a trip, all my daily stuff is in here just because this is what I was wearing on my trip and I just keep it in there for like the next week or two even though I'm home. It's really nice, doesn't hold too much, doesn't hold too little. Um, I store my straps in the bag while I uh, put them on a bookshelf, keeps it less cluttered looking. It just holds everything I need, really no extra room. Um, but the weight of this is so much easier than this. This is what I, what did I say? 3.4 pounds. How much is this? Hmm. Should I Google it? Should I write it below? I don't know. Let's try this. Hold on. Just hold on. Saddleback leather. I did that in my Chrome talking to them. I'm just going to quickly find out how much this weighs just so we have it for comparison. So I kind of understand why it's discontinued. It didn't really have a good spot in the lineup. Um, it had to compete with the book bag, it had to compete with the medium satchel, and now it even had to compete with their latest model, the Indiana satchel. Um, and this is not working. Hold on. Leather book bag. It, it's going. I have good internet. Um, great. 1.65 pounds. 1.65 pounds, 3.4 pounds. So there you go. 
it's kind of like this jump to here. You're going to get more room and the Indiana satchel is lighter than the small satchel. The Indiana satchel weighs three pounds. This is 3.4 pounds and you get more space, more space and it weighs less. Are you following my thought process? It's kind of like this was in this category. <laughs> this should be my screenshot. Um, and if you're really like looking at it, people would rather have more space and lighter than this. So who knows? Who knows who's watching this video even is interested in this. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope you have a nice evening. And I don't feel the best, but I hope I feel better in the morning. Um, it's going to be a long day, and I'll just touch base with you guys later. See you. Bye.